Hey guys, I'm back with another tutorial. If you want to see how I accomplished this look, please continue watching. I'm taking Remo Stay Matte Primer and I'm squeezing it into the palm of my hand only a little bit and rubbing it all over my face to prep my skin for the foundation. After applying my primer, I'm using MAC Studio Fix Foundation in the color NC50. Um, it doesn't come with a pump, so I have to tap it onto the back of my hand. And I'm just going to use a brush to apply it. To apply my foundation, I'm using a flat top kabuki brush in a stippling padding motion so that my foundation blends perfectly into my skin. I I blend my foundation out on the edges, on the inside of my face, down my neck, around my jawline so that my foundation doesn't look like a mask and it blends in well with my skin. So now I'm taking MAC Studio Fix Powder in the color NC45. To apply the Studio Fix Powder, I'm using a powder brush and I'm dusting it all over my face. I'm doing this because I'm going to add concealers on top of my face and liquid on top of liquid tends to move around and I want all my makeup to be set onto my face. So I'm setting my foundation with MAC Studio Fix Powder. For my under eye concealer, I'm going to use LA Girls Pro Conceal in the color Cool Tan. I'm taking LA Girls Pro Conceal in the color Cool Tan, which is one shade lighter than my skin tone, and I'm going to use it to highlight underneath my eyes and add dimension and definition to my skin. I'm applying it into a triangle shape underneath my eyes. Next, I'm taking LA Girls Pro Conceal in the color Orange Corrector. I'm taking the orange corrector and I'm applying it around my mouth because that area tends to be darker and I'm using the orange corrector to balance it out. So using a stippling brush, I'm going to blend out the orange corrector to the bottom half of my face where I'm usually a little bit darker. Next, I'm going to take what's left on the foundation brush and blend it on top of the orange corrector to make it look more natural. So now I'm taking a small brush and I'm blending out my under eye concealer down to my lips and to the end of my eyebrow still in a triangle shape. After blending it out with that small brush I'm going to use a flat foundation brush to make sure that the concealer is blended out flawlessly. Next I'm taking a powder brush and setting where I applied the orange corrector and then reapplied the foundation. Next I'm going to bake and I'm using Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm applying it onto a wet sponge in the same triangle motion that I did the concealer. And to bake you want to leave it on for 5 to 6 minutes or however long you would like to leave it on. So the last concealer I'm going to use is LA Girls Pro Conceal in the color Dark Cocoa. I'm taking dark cocoa to contour because dark cocoa is one shade darker than my skin tone and I'm using it to add definition and dimension to my face by adding it to the perimeter of my face and my jawbone. To blend out that contour, I'm using a flat contour brush. For my forehead, I'm going to try to blend downwards and for my cheekbones, I'm going to blend up and down trying not to bring it down close to my lips still high up on my cheekbones so that it looks as natural as possible taking Shea, taking Shea Moisture's Illuminating Powder in Manly Dust I'm going to set my contour adding the powder everywhere that I contoured next taking Sasha Buttercup Powder onto the tip of the same wedge I'm going to use it to sharpen my contour lines basically adding it where I added the contour on my jaw bones. So now I'm going to do my brows taking Elf's Brow Kit using the wax and the powder to draw the shape of my brows. After drawing out the shape of my brows with Elf's Brow Kit I'm going to use L'Oreal's Brow Precise to fill in the sparse areas and use the spoolie end to blend out my eyebrows. Trying to make it look as 
natural hairs are growing and not so drawn in. Next, I'm gonna take LA Girls Pro Conceal in the color Fawn and I'm gonna apply it to the back of my hand and I'm gonna use a flat sh shader brush and I'm going to clean up the edges of my brow making it look as sharp as possible. I'm going to blend out the concealer underneath my brow using a fluffy eyeshadow brush. The concealer underneath my brow will also double as my eyeshadow highlight. I'm going to also take that concealer and shape out the top of my brow and then blend it out with the same fluffy eyeshadow brush. Next, taking a big powder brush, I'm going to blend and dust away the Sasha Buttercup powder from all the places that I applied it. Next, I'm going to take what's left on my hand of the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Fawn and apply it to my nose and my forehead and blend it out, then adding Sasha Buttercup powder and dusting it away. Next, I'm going to take LA Girls Pro Conceal in the color Chestnut to contour my nose. I'm going to use a brush and bring the contour up to my brows and around the bridge of my nose. And then I'm going to quickly blend it out with a brush and my fingers. As a base for my eyeshadow, I'm going to take NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Black Bean and I'm going to apply it to my eyelids. Then I'm going to use a flat eyeshadow brush to blend out the black cream base onto my eyes. I had a lot of trouble blending this out so I ended up having to use a bigger brush to blend it all the way out. Using Black Radiance's blush in the color Warmberry, I'm going to apply that to my crease using a blending brush. I'm going to blend it back and forth in windshield wiper motions to make sure that it's properly blended in with my lid color. After blending, I'm going to take the Maybelline's Blush Nudes palette using the dark black eyeshadow with the pink glitter in the bottom corner and patting that onto my lid with a flat eyeshadow brush, making sure that I get as much pigmentation without applying the black eyeshadow into my crease. Once I finish applying that eyeshadow to my lid, I'm going to take Pixie's Fairy Dust in the color Olive Gold and I'm going to use the applicator to apply that to, to the front of my lids and then take a flat eyeshadow brush and work it to the end of my lids in a wiping motion, not sweeping it, but lightly wiping it to the back. Because if you sweep it, you're going to sweep away the eyeshadow. Using the same flat shader brush, I'm making sure that the pigment is blended in to my entire lid, especially the ends. I'm taking the same blending brush with warm berry on it to redefine my crease. With the same blending brush, I'm using any leftover product and applying it to my bottom lids. Now taking Black Radiance's Toasted Almond, I'm applying it to my cheeks slightly above my contour. I'm taking the Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator by NYX and applying it to the high points of my cheeks where the light naturally hits my face and then using a flat foundation brush, I'm blending it out. Now I'm taking MAC Cosmetics Fix Plus and spraying it onto a tapered brush. On that brush, I'm applying MAC Cosmetics Mineralized Skin Finishing Global Glow. I'm going to use the brush to apply it where I applied the illuminator. Now I'm going to take Global Glow down the bridge of my nose and in the center of my forehead. Now taking a fan brush, I'm going to blend out that highlight. Now using Maybelline's 
great lash real impact mascara i'm going to apply a coat of mascara to my lashes now i'm taking an eyelash curler to curl my eyes After curling my lashes, I'm going to apply MAC's Hot and Naughty 2 Mascara as my second coat of mascara. For my lips, I'm taking ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lip in the color Tool and applying it as close as possible to my natural lip line to give it a flawless lip look. Thank you for watching one of my night out makeup looks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.